कैन यू बिलीव इंडियन कॉस्मेटिक इंडस्ट्री इज एस्टिमेटेड टू बी वैल्यूड अराउंड 20 बिलियन डॉलर बाय 2025. वेल द रीजन फॉर दिस अमेजिंग ग्रोथ इज अ ग्रोइंग डिमांड फॉर कॉस्मेटिक प्रोडक्ट्स इन द मार्केट फ्रॉम टीन एजर्स टू यंग एडल्ट्स टू एडल्ट्स एवरीबडी डिमांड्स फॉर कॉस्मेटिक एंड द रैपिड डिजिटलाइजेशन ऑफ दिस इंडस्ट्री बट हाउ डू यू गो फ्रॉम अ स्टार्टअप टू एट्टी वन टाइम्स ओवर सब्सक्राइब आई पी ओ इन जस्ट टेन ईयर्स डिस्पाइट ऑफ कोविड दैट यू रिमेन प्रॉफिटेबल हाउ डू यू गेन लॉयल कस्टमर्स हाउ कैन यू गिव फर्म कॉम्पिटिशन टू ई कॉमर्स प्लेटफॉर्म्स लाइक एमेजॉन बींग अ स्टार्टअप डोंट बी कंफ्यूज वी हैव वन ई कॉमर्स प्लेटफॉर्म विच हैज डन ऑल ऑफ दीज एंड हैज बिकम अ थर्टीन बिलियन डॉलर company yes it's nike the first woman led unicorn of india is doing wonders in the cosmetic market nike is an indian based brand that specializes in multi beauty and personal care products originally established as a sole e-commerce medium it has expanded into offline stores as well the brand provides an extensive collection of cosmetics skin care hair care fragrances luxury as well as wellness products for both men and women nike with its 17 million orders has recently become a buzzword uttered across the nation after the launch of its ipo and massive response it received which in turn has boosted its founder falguni nayar to emerge as a part of india's exclusive group of self made billionaire women presently nike has its store in three formats namely lux on trend and kiosk in the nike on trend you will find all the fashionable and trending brands nike lux stores feature more premium and luxury brands such as estee lauder dior huda beauty and mac cosmetic as well as a range of others aside from women's beauty the platform also holds a range of grooming items for men listed on nike men website and app but the question is what is that unique thing which make nike beat the competition in the market the answer lies in nike's omni channel approach on how nike make shopping worthy online to offline nike targets customers everywhere instead of just listing the product nike also teaches you how to choose and rightly use the product it has beauty magazines nike's network to cover all your doubts about the product imagine buying a shade of your lipstick from amazon and buying a proper shade according to your skin tone from nike for the same prices of course you will choose the later one if you are spending your money you want to make the best use of it nike's this approach is the reason behind nike's high customer retention and brand loyalty if we talk about how nike operates or what is its business model then we can say nike has been clever and lucky enough to opt for an inventory model instead of the marketplace model in the inventory model nike purchases those limited products from the manufacturers and keeps them to their designated warehouses this helps the company in making a profitable business with high margins besides this model also helps the company in ensuring no duplicates of the product reaches the market which has been a greatest concern in the beauty and personal care segment coming to nike's revenue model nike basically earns through two major sources primarily being the sale of its own products and the products of its partnered brands and from the banner advertisements nike has stood as one of the most competent players in the beauty and fashion space due to its strategies the brand not only focuses on marketing its product in tier 1 city but is also gaining customers from tier 2 3 and 4 cities as well cost efficiency starting as an e-commerce brand nike saved a lot of expenses ranging from rent electricity staff salaries and more nike created its own loop of high margins high profit and low operating expenses this loop helped nike save a lot of money which is used in expansion later on next is data analysis as an e-commerce platform Nike leverages the data of its customers from their buying behavior from their choices and what's in their cart which products are they sharing and everything Nike used to reduce their customer acquisition cost social media marketing Nike has four social media accounts for marketing of its in-house brand My Nike Nike Beauty for the promotion of its e-commerce platform Nike Fashion to promote its e-commerce apparel store and Nike Beauty Book which helps the audience with numerous beauty tips and makeup tips from influencers to fashion bloggers to trending celebrities Nike remains in limelight YouTube marketing with more than 1 million subscribers on its YouTube channel 
द ब्रांड ऑफर्स ब्यूटी पर्सनल केयर टिप्स मेकअप हैक्स and much more to its target audience with a full fledged youtube marketing strategies and ads nike attracts customers content is one thing which makes nike the most preferred brand it focuses on making quality and understandable content for its audience to help them and teach them all about beauty and personal care adding a star on its shoulder nike opened its ipo on 28th october 2021 which was 82 times oversubscribed in just 3 days the bets that nike shares attracted were worth around 32.53 billion dollars nike shares were listed at a premium of nearly 80% which made the allotted shares customers earn a lot with success nike also faced challenges in the market being a late comer in the cosmetic market it has to battle numerous professional players and stick to its usp to retain customers the french giant l'oreal paris also filed a case against nike in 2019 for infringing copyrights for similar packaging then in 2020 covid hit the market leaving the brand in nickels nike faced shutdown of all its offline stores but falguni nayar did not lose hope she made a delivery system easier by connecting online businesses to local stores thus making fast deliveries and minimum piling of stock nike is all set to expand its offline stores from 80 to 180 by 2024 now let's see how this plan comes into effect for nike the indian cosmetic industry surely has a way to go more what are your thoughts on this statement comment in the section below and don't forget to subscribe this channel for more such amazing videos